Hello to all. We know you are missing us and here we are with a new edition online interview with ABB India's electrification businesses launched Megaflex DPN. UPS solution for the Indian market. Our director Ms. Pravita Ayer is in a one-to-one interview with Mr. Emmanuel Paul, sales director Mumbai Cluster. Mr. Gopuraj N, director sales electrification businesses ABB India. Mr. Dhananjay Sanas, director product marketing electrification businesses ABB India. But now is the launch that we are having today. Okay. In terms of uh, we're bringing a latest UPS into Indian market, uh, and that has the latest in technology, latest in innovation. It's called the Megaflex. Mm-hmm. It's been launched about uh, uh, almost three years back now globally. We're bringing it now to India. It is used in multiple sectors, as you know, as the India story grows, um, all the sectors are growing, mm-hmm. whether it's the IT side, whether it's the infrastructure side, whether it's the data center side. So all those sectors will get benefited with these technologies. Uh, the product that we're talking about particularly is uh, specifically uh, very uh, good in terms of its footprint. It's almost 45% less than what we're talking in terms of uh, current available market models in the market and in terms of efficiency it's much better in terms of technology it is much better uh, ease of use for the customer is much better uh, gives you a lifetime of trouble free operation and scalable things along those lines mm-hmm. so that is something that uh, we want to launch today great now uh, related to this product so your basic focus would be the data centers right So, are we looking at the expansion sector somewhere else also? We are talking about a UPS where maximum of the application is a mission critical application, including data. Okay. And so we also have hospitals. We've got uh, several other mission critical applications. Okay. And uh, Mumbai being one of the hub for the data centers to be uh, in the country for several reasons. Yeah. And that could be one of our main uh, segments as well okay. as the other segments. Just to add what Evan has said. The same uh, Megaflex solutions, we are using it for even EV charging. Okay. In one of the countries, Switzerland. Yeah, that's the latest is, business trend today, right? Yes. Yeah. This is not only for data center. We may be expanding this solution for some other segments also, like uh, e-mobility. Okay. Recently, we have done it with uh, certain uh, organizations. So basically, as you're going to enter into the Indian market, you must have strategized your product placements. As you said, segment-wise, you are trying to expand it in future. So, how do you see in this particular yearly planning of yours? How would you strategize to place your product in the market? This is not a plan of a serial placement. Mm-hmm. So, as Indian market grows, we grow along with it and we support the growth across the segments, across the sectors. Okay, so, you're not specifically looking like you said just now the data centers. Mm-hmm. Similarly, industry-wise, I think UPS systems and the solutions regard, regarding that has got a vast market, yes, right? Yes, and several actually, segments. Actually. So, focus-wise, initially you said data center. So, there's nothing else for a plan this Just year. That, uh, the product UPS hmm. fits a lot of segments. Exactly. But this particular UPS is of a higher rating, mm-hmm. higher range, mm-hmm. and that is mainly the data centers, mainly mission critical as you said, some mm-hmm. applications. Some of the industries might use it, sir, because mm-hmm. They would need maybe one megawatt, two megawatts of UPS capacity, Correct. which is what this provides. Majority of the other industries tend to use a lower megawatt capacity, for which we have other projects, other UPS ranges also. Mm-hmm. So for this, our focus would remain this mission critical data centers, even infrastructure, some places where you need higher power capacity. Basically, to enter into the Indian market, as you see the product, what are the kind of investments that you all are planning to go ahead to make? For this particular segment, as a brand launch, uh, we continue to make investments in India. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have already a lot of factories in India, and we will continue to invest as required by the market. Very mm-hmm. speaking, uh, even for this product line, we are launching it now. And as we see demand go up and requirements of the market go up, uh, customers taking to this technology and innovation go up, we will also look at those localization plans. And we already have our localization plans always drawn up, so that we continue to address the market. Mm-hmm. Uh, we tend to be, we try to be in line with the market always. What kind of opportunities are you all finding here? As you said, the Bombay is a big market. Similarly, section-wise, I'm sure you must be looking at an all India base. So, what are the various uh, 
strategic. As you, as we already said, mm-hmm. our data center is the biggest segment, uh, which is the growth driver in Mumbai as such. Other than the buildings, mm-hmm. now we also have buildings. We have got uh, IT, ITES solutions also. Mm-hmm. I think with lot of um, IT segment also seeing the same similar kind of growth, and we are seeing better uh, buildings, uh, environment friendly buildings coming up, which will also consume lot of elect- uh, energy and mm-hmm. also. a scale up on their consumption so that actually suits to our new ups as well because it's of a higher capacity literally you know, it's available in the uh, website also uh, currently the capacity up to you know, 2022 it is about 870 megawatt installation of data center mm-hmm. in india mm-hmm. and it is going to be multi folderly it is going to grow mm-hmm. that's what we are assuming and a lot of foreign investors you know the data protection policy because of the data protection policy every mnc company has to put the data center in india Correct. because of that only you know this is going to be multi folder whatever we have done in past 20 years mm-hmm. maybe you will see this kind of growth in next 2 years so definitely it is going to grow so we also have to equip uh, ourselves to that extent mm-hmm. so that's the reason maybe you are seeing this kind of a higher rated uh, um, this one to address those kind of uh, issues expansions mm-hmm. expansions because it's not going to to come up in 1 megawatt to when it is going to be 50 megawatt 100 megawatt kind of data centers correct so because your backups are required for everything yes, be banking exactly. be medical there are new apps coming in where you have to put everything put everything online you know on the app and then you can, anywhere that you are in india you can check your medical history with that kind of things that are coming up i think in the back end store system so data centers become very critical so when it comes to data center expansions I think your product gets launched immediately yes, there, right? right? Exactly. So that's the main reason for us to come here. Internationally, I would like to ask, which are the various countries that you have already tested your product and launched your product, and what are the kind of success rates that you see in the different mm-hmm. countries that you all have been, you know, working at? Or is it that India is your first platform that you plan to promote? No, this this product comes out of our Switzerland factories. Okay. And we've also launched this in the US market. Okay. So the European markets already this product is available. Mm-hmm. Is also available in the US markets. Both have different standards. One is an IEC standard, one is a UL standard. One is for these both requirements. Okay. So all the major players in the data center industry use this product. Okay. Apart from that, now to the uh, you know basic marketing of your product, would it be to a uh, direct marketing or would it be through the dealers? I mean, it's not a common interest product, as you're saying. It's a specified niche product, which is going to be, you know, catering to the upper segment where the requirements are higher now. Uh, so, how do you go ahead? One to one. We deal with most of our businesses. We deal with distributors. Okay. So we are a product company. So we went into a electrification is basically a dealer business. Exactly. Uh, this being a hyper scale sort of a product line, mm-hmm. which is more falling under the capital goods. If mm-hmm. you look at it from a customer perspective. Mm-hmm. Not from our perspective, from a customer perspective, and that is where we will have to take those calls as they come, because there are some large dealers we have or distributors that we have who could also do this business. Okay. So the door is open even for them, but it could also be direct customers when the customers want a manufacturer to be involved, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So it's not uh, watertight, mm-hmm. but there are some large cust- uh, distributors who could also deal with this product line because they have access into the market. into the data center something is coming to be spontaneously i don't know if it's of relevance or no but these days the kind of uh, you know with the uh-huh, ivf uh-huh. so a lot of uh, storages and everything occur there so with those kind of systems when we we'll be talking about the medical field uh, is your product going to be also kind of that absolutely Used? absolutely so for reliable power hmm. for something that you can bank on and as you said uh, that medical records medical samples exactly. medical uh, data mm-hmm. is very critical exactly and cannot be lost for a small blip in the electrical system for certain should not Absolutely. be should not be yeah. for that this is the perfect solution yeah. this installed will give you options. you can scale it up in mm-hmm. terms of its power you, it's reliable in every sense mm-hmm. so certainly fits the requirement that you mentioned for medical section it is for my medical section we often you know get uh, inquiries regarding the stents and also regarding the umbilical cord which is being f- uh, stored you know stored for n number of years now mm-hmm. so several dna oriented things that are happening in the medical so i just thought there was some no, relevance absolutely. there majorly 
you know, looking but at. As we speak, also there are so a lot of such institutions and hospitals yes. where our EPSs are already serving. Okay. Uh, they are already in service, and uh, and as the capacity goes up, that's where this UPS, uh, which we are now launching, also comes. It was great talking to you all to know more about the product and the market placement of your product. We wish you good luck on the progress and the sale of the product.